Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to this week's episode of Better Horses TV. Got a great show for you today. We're going to go down by Paola, Kansas, near Hillsdale Reservoir, and uh, to the SNS Stables. You're going to really like that and an opportunity to get to know some fox trotters. Also, we're going to do a, go down to Lewisburg, where Kerry Coon did a clinic a couple weeks ago, and he's going to leave you with a great tip. I think you're going to really enjoy it. We're going to wrap it up with a hearty grub with Chef Tail Mark Burkdahl at a smoke off down at Princeton, Kansas. So get yourself a cup of coffee, come on back and join me on Better Horses TV. You care about your animals and feeding them the best. And that's where Purina's local Kansas City dealers step in, providing you experience, knowledge, service, and advice. Purina feed dealers are people who believe in community involvement and who believe in you. They have a passion for the feed industry and are committed to helping customers unlock the potential of every animal. If you are looking for a trusted source for your animals, look no further than your local Purina feed dealer, your partner in animal care. Hi, this is Pastor Frank with Open Range Fellowship. Now, I was reading through 1 Peter chapter 1, and uh, I've been meditating on the, the power of the Bible. It's, just, it's God's Word. It's just amazing. But it says here, um, all men are like grass. All their glory is like the flowers of the field. Grass withers, the flowers uh, fail or fall. But the Word of God, the Word of the Lord stands forever. Isn't that awesome? If you're looking for solid ground, if you're looking for a good footing, if you're looking for a foundation you can build a life on, start right here. Lord, we just come to you and thank you for your word. We thank you for the Bible, the living document. It's God breathed. We know it is. And we thank you and, and just praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this week, open your Bibles. You've probably got six of them at home and start seeing what God has for you. God bless you and I'll see you next week. Back in the saddle and out on the trail With Ernie the horse guy, now fun will prevail We'll meet the best horsemen under the sun Tip our hats to the ladies, keep the good Lord number one Ride along, sing your song This segment is brought to you by CSI Saddle Pads. Hello friends, I'm Ernie the Horse Guy. Welcome to this week's episode of Better Horses TV. I'm here at beautiful, the beautiful Hillsdale Lake near Paola, Kansas. I'm here at an operation that's been here for about three years. Been here longer actually, but I'm here with Farley and Kayla Ratslap. And uh, we're at s, &S Stables, a place that you've had for three years. Just tell us about what s, s is all about. Well, hello. And what we do at s, s Stables, we offer guided trail rides. We offer camping is what we do. And we have some boarding also. We're right next to Hillsdale Lake. So there is access to 52 miles of trails right at the end of the driveway. We take a lot of Girl Scout troops out on their rides. We have done corporate events. We have taken families. It's a perfect family outing to come and enjoy the trails. You had a, just a beautiful fall we're having out here. The trees are great. I hear the trails are just unbelievable. Yes, they are. The trails are beautiful with the leaves changing. We could go right up next to the lake. We also offer some date rides in the evenings for couples. And what that includes is we go out on an evening ride and right at sunset, we watch the sunset over the lake. And when you get back, Farley has a nice campfire already built for you. They bring their wine, they bring some marshmallows to roast and just have a great evening sitting by the fire. Farley, how great of a life this is here. You're a former truck driver, been a, a sailor in the concrete sea for many years. How do you like this? Uh, you'd never get me back in another truck again. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, I've got a wonderful, beautiful wife to, to share this life with and all the people that we just get to put smiles on their faces. That's the, I don't know, it's just an awesome life that I couldn't describe how it makes me feel to wake up each and every day to, to be able to do something like this. Well, the horses that you have, I hear nothing but great comments about them. They're safe. And, and I understand you have a lot of fox trotters. 
Yes, we do. Every horse that we take out on the trails, with the exception of two, are Missouri Foxtrotters. They're very gentle. We take children from eight years old and up out on the trails to do a lot of them their very first ride. And for example, when we do the Girl Scout rides, we always have plenty of guides so we can help encourage them along the way. So their enjoyment level is the best we can make it. You do a lot with the Girl Scouts. Yes, and do. and and uh, but you do the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts come out here. They ride. They can camp out here. Once you pay to ride out here, you can camp. That is correct. We have for the Scouts. One of the deals we offer them is they have free camping. When they come out and book a ride, we provide all the firewood for them. There's many activities they can do around the lake to get other badges. They've gotten their bug badges, for example, in the summertime. They can go hiking on the trails. The swimming area is not very far either. Well, the wildlife is. Uh so plentiful out here and just beautiful out here and let's talk about the trail rides just a little bit you got two rides you can do an hour or a two hour ride yes we do uh both both the one hour and a two hour ride uh and we we make our rides basically to fit the people that we take out we we uh if somebody wants to do a little fox trotting and things we can do some of that we've even done some cantering with some people that's been here several times otherwise if they just want to do a walk ride that's what we're going to do we cater to the people's needs and what they want to do well with being with better horses and i don't know how many folks asked me said where can we go ride a horse can you rent a horse and of course a lot of these stables are training and the privately owned stables and everything like that it's they can't have it they're not set up for like that how great this is there's only really you said about three around the area and this really one uh sns is the only one that's really close to kansas city that i would say no more than 30 minutes away from kansas city uh and not you're not even not quite the payola that's correct. We're north of Paola. We're south of Olathe, about 15 miles. It takes about a half an hour to get here from Overland Park. So we are very close to the city. We do a lot of rides for people in the city that just want to come out and experience being in the woods. They just want to get out of the neighborhood for a while and forget everything. And that's one of the things that's so enjoyable about what we do is we can take people out and they'll forget everything that's going on and just relax and have a wonderful ride out in the woods. I would strongly urge, if you're interested in coming out here and riding and, and, and going on one of their guided rides, you need to put your reservations in early because you're, you're booked right now. Yes, fall is our busiest time. We do all of our rides by reservation only. We don't have a bunch of horses just saddled up waiting for someone to come ride them. We do things a little different. When you call to make reservations, I ask information so I can find out how much you have ridden to pair you off with a horse that will fit better for you and your ride to make your ride more enjoyable. What's the best way to get a hold of you? I know you got a website. You got a website, you got Facebook, you're not that hard to get a hold of. And just, I tell you, these folks are so user friendly too. That means a lot. No one likes to go to a place and their people are not having fun. It's like a family out here. Everybody is treated like family. We have campers that come back several times. We have a lot of our riders are repeat riders. The best way to reach us to make an appointment though is to call. Okay, that is the best way for to do it. I usually take return phone calls first, then go to my Facebook page, and then go to the website and Messenger, because I get them in all areas. Let's talk about your website. What, give us that website again. The website is ssstables.com. Ssstables, and your, fa and your Facebook is? Facebook is S, and then the and sign, S, Stables. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Farley and... and uh, I'll tell you what, it's just been a great time being here, and uh, uh, would, Kayla would like to come back out, and we're, I'm excited to be on the ride and everything. We're going to have a great ride. It's beautiful. Come out here. Check it out. s, &S Stables, and you'll love it. The scenery's great. Great place to get away. Even if you don't ride horses, it's a good place to camp. We have several people that come and camp. Some of them will camp. I've got one coming in this week, as a matter of fact, to camp for four days. And on the fifth day, they're wanting to ride, to do a guided ride. Wow. The, the rats laugh. I'll tell you what, great folks here at the s, &S And uh, thanks for letting Better Horses be a part of it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate you coming out. What do you get? when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry, you get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety. 
a pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs, and people of Merck Animal Health. Hi, I'm Donna. This is Ringo. We're with CSI Saddle Pads. I'd like to invite you to ride our new revolutionary Flex Flight Saddle Pad. We offer a 30-day money-back ride it, get it dirty guarantee. And the best part of the pad is it's 100% American made with American parts by American hands. We really like them. They've contoured a horse's back, help your saddle feel real good, and they'll work on a little flatter withered horse or on a high withered horse, either one we can make them fit. And, and uh, the horse is really comfortable under them. For more information, go to CSIPads.com. Better Horses with Ernie Rodina is brought to you by your friends at Merck Animal Health. Hello friends, Ernie the Horse Guy here at s, &S Stables and here with a couple folks that are big fans of s, &S and we're here with Nikki. Stark. Stark and we're here with also Lori Wilkerson. Wilkerson. And so glad to have you here. You just come off the ride. Tell us, tell the folks out there what you think of s, &S Stables and the camping and the riding. Oh, we're repeat customers. We come here last at least five years. Um, this is our third weekend in a row that we've returned. Um, we really enjoy the trails. They're nice and clear and well marked. And we just love coming here. How about the rats laughs? Oh, yes. They're wonderful people also. Um, very warm, uh, welcoming, and very helpful. And I know, Nikki, you're having a great time and everything, and uh, the same thing with you. Just enjoy coming out here. Not too far from home? Mm -hmm. Not very far from home. Really close to the Kansas City area where we live. And like Lori said, we've been coming out here for years. I've come almost every weekend in the fall for the last three years. And part of that's because it's just a great place with great trails and, you know, right down on the lake, just beautiful. And part of it's that it's just a great atmosphere. Um, you know, they say it's like family. It really is like that. And we um, just feel very comfortable and they take great care of us here. Well, here we are with Lori and Nikki. I tell you what, just a great time ha having out here. Thanks for your comments about SNS Stables. Your buddy Ron once said he could install your ceiling fan. He couldn't. And that one time, Ron said another chili dog was a good idea. Yeah, it wasn't. So when Ron said you'd never afford a John Deere tractor, you knew better. Now. Ron does too. The E-Series. Legendary John Deere quality. Unexpected low price. Stop by and see Heritage Tractor at one of its nine locations for your John Deere and Featherlight trailer needs. HeritageTractor.com When looking for the farm life, look to Dreamweaver Homes. Jana Weaver, a Keller Williams Platinum agent, knows ranches and farms and is a lifelong resident licensed in Kansas and Missouri. Here's a listing you'll want to visit. A custom log home sitting on 29.6 acres located in Excelsior Springs, Missouri has a turnkey opportunity for horse boarding. A gorgeous place with five bedrooms, three baths, a reverse 1.5 story loft with a four car garage and two barns. Go to dwhms.com. Dream Weaver Homes, Lee Summit, Missouri. This segment is brought to you by Heritage Tractor and your John Deere and Featherlight trailer dealer. Hello, friends. Ernie the Horse Guy here with Carrie Coon. Carrie, we just wrapped up a two day clinic here at EC Equine Center unbelievable turnout and I tell you what you knocked it out of the park well I tell you it's it's interesting for me to travel around to get to come here to Equus Corrido Equine Center here in Lewisburg Kansas has been a blessing for me I'm used to traveling four states away but this facility right here in Lewisburg is one of the nicest facilities in the area so for us this weekend having this clinic today our riders were they were out here working on some things we're trying to find ways guys to challenge these horses in a way that we can initiate a different train of thought. So my idea today was to help these people understand the frame of mind their horse is in. And if you want to build a soft feel in a horse, Ernie, you've got to get them in a frame of mind where they're thinking about responding with what I'm, I'm constantly telling my riders today. I need a yes sir from my horse. We're going to give a chance to watch you demonstrate mm -hmm. on Fred what the last maneuver going around them circles and the improvement on your riders was just tremendous that you did that. We're going to get a chance to do that. Before we let you go do that, we want to tell everybody that you're going to be back May 17th, 18th, and 19th right here at Equus Corrido EC Equine Center. And uh, you're taking uh, 
entries for the clinic and what's the best way folks can get in touch with you at? Well, you can go directly to Equus Credo's website and get signed up for, through them. We're taking 12 riders. So we're gonna cap it at 12. So if you get registered pretty soon, hopefully you can get a spot. We really appreciate you too, Carrie, being on Better Horses TV. We get you about once a month with a, clin a clinic or a tip on there. Appreciate you doing that. So we're gonna turn it over to you. Give, give the folks a chance to see what you did and what we worked with these, these adults and kids and everything is all different ages and went over great. And again, contact Carrie Coon. You can contact him through his website, Carrie Coon. Dot com. Dot com. So thanks a lot, Carrie. Thank Wonderful you, Ernie. Time. Okay, Ernie, one of the exercises that we were working with our, our students today at this clinic was <clears throat> we're just loping a circle out here. There's a couple things that I'm trying to build in my horse while I'm loping a circle. First of all, I don't want to feel like I have to ride the brake, so to speak, or pull on my reins to keep my horse from wanting to speed up. So I'm trying to get my students to understand that if I'm sitting on a horse and I'm trying to just lope a circle, my goal is to get my horse to where he'll hunt that circle and want to stay on it. So I'm thinking, what could I use for some motivation or need to get my horse to want to be on the circle? Well, if he's on the circle, I'm going to try to leave him alone. If he, if he cuts across the middle of the circle or he's drifting out, then at that time, Ernie, I'm just going to pick my reins up and steer him back with, again, the intent when he gets back on my circle, I'm going to try to set my hands down and leave him alone as best I can. So the horse figures out if he's on the circle, we're just going to leave him alone. Now, when I get him on that circle and he wants to lope a little fast, my approach the majority of the time is to just leave him alone. And if that horse wants to lope a little fast, then maybe we just we lope a little faster for a while until I feel that horse come back to me. The reason I can... I can still stay confident and comfortable when I'm loping that circle and my horse is going a little too fast, Ernie. It's because as long as I'm on the circle, I'm just going to end up back where I started a little bit quicker. So I'm going to take Fred here. I'm going to go ahead and hold him two-handed like my students were today, and I'm going to try to operate my reins in the same manner that I was asking my students to today. So we'll lope off here, and I'm going to, I'm going to take my reins right here and steer him over here and then my hands are going to come back to center. Now I'm looking up my circle about a quarter of the way up the circle and I'm just thinking if my hands stay right here I'm going to leave you alone. Now I'm going to open the door. See right here he's getting wide. So I'm going to pick these reins up steering back over here. I'm going to kind of let this horse drift off a little bit. Try not to tear the cones up. Here he's drifting a little wide so I'd pick my hand up both hands staring back on this circle. Let's not take all the cones out, Fred. So I don't want my horse to feel like I'm holding him on this circle. Here, I'm gonna really open the door and look, he's going down the, down the wall. I'm just gonna steer him back to the circle. My hands will come back to the center. You can see this horse is loping around. He's not, he's not speeding up. I'm steering him a little bit more right here. Whoa. <clears throat> and then when we're ready to stop, we can just sit back and say that stop word and that horse come to the ground like that. What I'm really trying to get my riders to think about is this. If you were carrying a piece of metal in your mouth and you had two pieces of the leather tied to it and a human on the other end pulling on it all the time, Ernie, if they were pulling more than they should, you'd probably develop a frame of mind where some of that or a lot of that would get you probably a little bit frustrated that there wasn't enough release. So I'm thinking about it from my horse's perspective. What's my horse want me to do? My horse wants me to turn loose of him. So I get him on the circle. I try to leave him alone as best I can while he's on the circle so he gets to thinking that's a good place to be and then I don't have to steer so much. I can just lope those circles and let that horse find that cruise control that I'm trying to build. So I hope that's something that maybe your viewers can use, Ernie. And thanks again for letting me ride old Fred today. Wearability means 100% waterproof, top to bottom, and no soggy, heavy neoprene. To demonstrate, we soaked a competitor's rubber boot and a dry shot rubber boot to show you why these other boots get heavy when wet and can even rot away at the seam when subjected to farm chemicals. 
Dry shod boots are treated with HydroCoat, a nanoscale water repellent that repels water as well as mud, ice, and organic chemicals. As you can see, the neoprene on the competitor's boot is soaked. If these were farm chemicals, the boot would eventually rot away at the seam. Meanwhile, the dry shod boot completely sheds the water. Dry shod, waterproof, top to bottom. To get yourself a pair of these dry shod boots, make sure you go to one of your Vanderbilts in your area. Our horses work hard for us every day, so nutrition is a major concern. I've relied on Purina horse feed products for over 12 years. Purina is always on the leading edge of research and nutrition innovation, and with their feed guard system, I know I can rely on the safety and quality of their products from coast to coast. No matter what you do with your horse, Purina has the right product for you. Visit horse.purinamills.com or find them on Facebook for more information. Better Horses with Ernie Rodina is brought to you by your friends at Merck Animal Health. Hello friends, this is Chef Mark along the Hardy Grub. Ernie's on assignment tonight, so he left it up to Big R and me to do the intro to the deal. So this is the Hardy Grub segment for this deal. If don't do Ernie justice, I apologize, but that was as good as I could do. You did good. No problem. <laughs> it is fun. Okay, so it is a, is a benefit for the Princeton Recreation Association. They have try, trouble coming up with enough money to do everything, and they're trying to remodel their bathroom. So this was kind of a benefit for it. So all the money we raised for our food goes through here is going to go to the Prince of Recreation to help remodel their bathrooms. We had four categories. We had pork, brisket, chicken, chicken and ribs, and then a side open. So we, we of course, was in all of them. This is a leftover brisket. We was going to cook a bunch of extra brisket, extra brisket to serve to the community. And we'll probably go through all the rest of this because we're about out of stuff. Yep. We did a crab bisque side. We're competing against deep fried Oreos. Yeah. And I'm doing a crab bisque, so we'll have to see how that works out. I, and a carrot cake. Know. Oh, yeah, and another one had a carrot cake that looked really good, too. Yeah. So it will be interesting. Yep. Okay, here we are, team number two. This is more team. We're here with Donna and Kevin Moore. What do you got going, Kevin? I got some chicken thighs on the grill. I got about 20 of them shooting for about another 20 25 minutes uh we'll get them boxed up get over here about a quarter mile jog over to the uh to the house over here to see what the judges think well, of you our chicken. did like roger Brummel did he brought a golf cart so we got a golf cart to swing back and forth i was with. gonna what hit was you thinking i was gonna hit your ride with roger <laughs> oh you might have a flat tire though that's true on his side only. yeah it's only flat on the bottom <laughs> So how close are you cutting it? You want to be, be done just as you turn it in, or are you going to get them done a little bit uh, we're before? Gonna, we're going to pull them off the grill and box them. That's, that's, that's oh, basically yeah? my strategy as far as the chicken goes. Our deal up there, we're kind of in a mess. we got some not done and some too done, and we got to go up there in just a minute and pick some out to see what we got going. Just make sure you take the worst ones because I want at least at least third place. At least third? Yep. All right, we'll, we'll see what third. we can do. All right, thanks, Kevin. And <laughs> you Dawn. bet. You bet. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> this is one of the teams we're with. This is the Lick Tie Boys. I don't know what's your official name. you got a meat machine. Meat machine looked over on their grill while they're going they got these little drummies going that look just really awesome what else you got going Travis oh we got some baby back ribs uh, pork butt and uh, brisket I can't wait to try your side is over here sneaking a peek while ago they're gonna deep fry some Oreos I can't wait to try those those sound awesome when do we start turning this stuff in? We're getting pretty close, ain't yeah, we? Yeah, we're getting real close. It's probably about 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes away. Well, I better let you guys go so you can yeah, get your stuff bagged up. I, I, I ain't got nothing done yet either. So, all right, we'll talk to you in a bit when we get done. All right. Hay is not for horses. They deserve Stanley Premium Western Forage. There's no better place in the country to grow forage than Idaho, and Stanley is one of the country's largest producers. From pellets, cubes, and chopped forage in bags to compressed and three-tie bales, Stanley cultivates the premium forage types horse owners demand. Because your horse needs hay, but he deserves Stanley Premium Western Forage. Hi, I'm Al Dunning. I'd like to tell you about my horses and my new best friend. It's Perina Outlast Gastric Supplement. You know, as a child, I fed Omeline. Now that I'm a trainer, my choice is Perina Ultium. Ultium now has Outlast in it. 
I don't know how much better it could be. Prina has the research to be the most innovative feed company. Rio Equestrian Center is Kansas City's largest equine show facility, offering horses and riders an unmatched experience in competition. We strive to make horse shows enjoyable and offer events that serve the equine community with the spirit of hospitality. So for the best experience in horse competition or to plan your next equine event, go to Rio, the premier show facility in the Midwest. Go to riohorseshows.com or call 913-980-4668. Rio Equestrian Center, located in Oak Grove, Missouri. This segment is brought to you by Heritage Tractor and your John Deere and Featherlight trailer dealer. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the closing of this Hardy Grove segment here at the Princeton Recreation Association. We've got Vince Lichtai and you are? Chance Lichtai. Well, yeah, sure. And Big R. Big R! Big R. So we're doing the closing. We just got through with a heck of a deal at the Smoke Off, the first annual Smoke Off. Look at the cool, cool shirts we got. Yeah. So we got through with all the judging and stuff, and and I ain't supposed to tell how we did, but but we did all right. Yeah. We we got second. I ain't tell you how many teams was involved, but we got second. We, we did, did all we right. We did earlier. How many told? Oh, we did. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you didn't have to say that right. I'm sorry. Anyway. So what are we doing for next? What are we going to do to improve ourselves next year, Roger? We got to improve. We're going to come up with a hell of a dessert. That's it. We served crab bisque for dessert, and that just didn't go over as dessert. It nope. was it was excellent, but I don't think they thought it was. Uh, uh, it was we a savory dish. We should have went to Alexander's. Got some carrot cake. I guess because the guy across the street here that won it all, he 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 had a hell of a carrot cake. Worked yeah. really good. Yeah. Any suggestions for us for next year? Um. Advertise, tell your friends. Yeah, we gotta come get back. some more teams. It, yep. It'd be a hoot to get a bunch of teams yeah. over here and do we this. We got uh, we got plenty of room out here. Um, I think the bigger we start getting, the more people we start coming down, getting volunteers, gaining some more sponsors, um, and every year, I mean, hopefully, it gets bigger. Before um, you know, it, we'll be on the Kansas City Barbecue Society and have their judges down here telling us how to do this and that. But that'd be all right. They're, they're cool. Then we get invited to the American Royal, and then we can be with up there with the big shots. No, that's the really too much work. <laughs> you see how that worked? <laughs> it was a lot of work, though, huh, Oh, Roger? man. We decided to our mess clean up. We're going to just get a backhoe and dig a hole over here and just shove everything in it and start over next year. Go buy new. I think that would be the easiest way to clean this mess up. Yeah, it would it, be it, good. It, it's been a long struggle. Well, folks, it's been fun. Thank you very much. Yep, thanks yep. for coming out. Thank we you, appreciate it. Hope we hope we got you some good money so you can redo the bathrooms. And we couldn't have done it without Miss Tina. She was wonderful help. Yep, everybody. We had we had a heck of a team together. Yep. Brother Scott helped, and Roger helped, and yep. we yep. kind of yep. tag team to sleep effort last night. <laughs> well, right. well, friends, <laughs> this is the end of the Hardy Grug segment for this segment. See you all next time. Adios.